Well, the winter weather didn't quite get the memo for this year's World of Winter, but that did not stop people from enjoying the festival. And if you haven't had a chance to get out, today is your last day. Elena Cousineau has more on how World of Winter went this year. Good morning, Elena. Good morning, Brittany. World of Winter is the largest winter festival in the country, and the lack of snow we saw this year didn't stop people from coming out. Organizers say more than 4 million people have visited downtown during the festival. That's similar to the numbers that they saw last year. World of Winter started started on January 12th. The seventh annual festival featured 30 art installations, 81 ice sculptures, and multiple different events for everyone. The festival is a way to bring people outside during the winter to connect with the community, check out local businesses, and be inspired by West Michigan artists. Organizers say they ran into a couple of hurdles this year with the festival. Most of them were because of the weather. Weather obviously presented some for a couple of our events that we had to postpone, just kind of due to safety reasons more or less. And in addition, some of the art installations we've needed to keep an eye on for high winds and different weather conditions. So a lot of adapting and uh, changing things up and pivoting from time to time, but the team is really well equipped to do that. Our partners have been great, and so we, we just keep the festival rolling. The festival ends tonight with an event it was originally supposed to start with. The Luminary Light Night Parade was supposed to happen the first night of the festival, but it was postponed due to weather. Now it is tonight from 6 to 9 at Anabuin Park. There will be the drumline for the Grand Rapids Gold leading the parade, DJs, food trucks, and more. The closing celebration is free for everyone. Just make sure that you bring some tennis shoes for the parade.